CBSE and CRT Solutions Chapter 5 Arithmetic Progressions Exercise 5.3 Question number 19 The problem is 200 logs are stacked in the following manner 20 log logs in the bottom row, 19 in the next row, 18 in the row next to it and so on In how many rows are the 200 logs placed and how many logs are in the top row Now we will proceed to the solution Let, Let's pause that 200 logs are placed in n rows so basically we will have here 20 logs plus 19 20 plus 19 plus 18 up to so on up to n terms equal to 200 so we have here sum of n terms equal to 200 because we have supposed that that in n rows we have placed 200 logs now we just need to find value of n here now we know that the sum of sum of n terms of any given ap is equal to it's equal to n divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d where d is the common difference and n is the number of terms and a is the first term no i will just need to put variables in this formula here the first term is 20 and difference is minus 1 because 19 minus 20 is minus 1 common difference is minus 1 and we don't know how many terms are there so putting the variables in this formula i will get here n by 2 2 times a value of a is 20 plus n minus 1 times common difference is minus 1 equal to 200 here so I'll just bring this 2 to the other side so I get here n times 20 times 2 is 40 and n times minus 1 is minus n and minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 equal to 200 times 2 I've just taken this 2 to the other side so I get here 40n minus n square plus n equal to 400 so now I can bring this minus n square and this n to the other side of the equation so I'll get here n square minus n minus 40n plus 400 equal to 0 so I get here n square minus 41n plus 400 equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve it by different methods we can solve it by factorization or by completing square or we can use it or we can solve it by using quadratic formula now let's suppose we want to use factorization if you know factorization the factorize the, uh, the factors of minus 1 minus 41 n would be minus 25 n minus 16 n and plus 400 equal to 0 I will write this 400 as it is now I can take n common from these two terms and I can take minus 16 from the next two terms now we have n minus 25 common from these two terms and I get n minus 16 equal to 0 so I get here n equal to 16 and 25 I will have to discard n equal to 25 because n cannot be more than 20 why is it so this is because we cannot have rows more than 20 because if 20 lo logs are uh, placed in the bottom uh, most row and 19 in the next one 18 in the next one 17 and so on and in the 20th row we will have just one log left so in the next row we will have zero log and so on we cannot have uh, minus one number of logs present in any row so we cannot have rows more than 20 so 25 number of rows would be discarded so we have n equal to 16 therefore number of rows is equal to 16 that makes sum of logs equal to 200 so this is value of number of rows that make up 200 logs in all the rows now we also need to find how many logs are in the top row 
Now let's suppose there are L logs in the top row. Now we have a formula which we use to find sum of n terms of AP and this is one of them. We, we can also use this one to find sum of n terms uh, but in some cases we can use the other formula which is n divided by 2 a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term we need to find the last term here because we are were, we are asked here to find how many logs are present in the last row which is the topmost row so i just need to find the value of l and i will put the values of different variables we are given the value of sum of n terms which is 200 which is the same and n is known to us now it's equal to 16 because we know that there are 16 rows so 16 divided by 2 and first term is known to us it's 20 because this is the bottom most row and l is unknown to us because we need to find this now i can bring this to to the other side and i get 16 here 20 plus l and i get 400 equal to 16 I can bring this 16 to the left hand side and it will be, uh, it will come at the bottom it will come to the denominator and I get 20 plus L here now I can cancel this uh, 16 with the 400 and I, I will get here 25 now the value of L would be 25 minus 20 equal to 5 here so it means that there are five logs in the topmost row and the total number of rows would be equal to 16. So that's about question number 19, chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.3. In the next video I'll be covering question number 20th, chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.3. See you guys.